Ever feel glued to your phone screen, scrolling mindlessly for hours, only to look up and realize the day has vanished? If you said yes, you're not alone. In today's digital age, the average person spends over six hours a day glued to screens. That's a crazy amount of time. But what if I told you there's a way to break free from the endless scroll and reclaim control of your time? Well, guess what? You're probably right. Studies show a whopping 80% of our daily actions are just habits. Today, we're unlocking the secret weapon to break free from autopilot and become the awesome you were meant to be. The answer lies in a powerful tool called self-reflection. Let's dive in and see how it can help you transform your relationship with technology. So what is self-reflection? Self-reflection is like holding up a mirror to your thoughts and behaviors. It's about asking yourself questions like, why do I do what I do? What emotions trigger certain habits? Are these habits helping or hindering me? Think of self-awareness as the first step in self-reflection. It's being consciously aware of your thoughts, feelings, and actions in the moment. Studies show that increased self-awareness can lead to a 25% reduction in stress and better decision-making. Imagine your habits as a maze. Self-reflection becomes your map. You start by identifying your habits, both good and bad, then you explore the triggers that set them off. Are you reaching for social media when you're bored? Do you procrastinate when faced with a big task? By understanding these triggers, you gain the power to break the cycle. Research suggests that simply becoming aware of a bad habit can decrease its frequency by up to 50%. That's a huge impact. Let's use procrastination as an example. Through self-reflection, you discover you procrastinate on big tasks because they feel overwhelming. So you break down the task into smaller, more manageable steps. This intentional approach helps you overcome procrastination and achieve your goals. Now, let's explore the example of excessive screen time. Through self-reflection, you might uncover that you tend to binge watch shows late at night, leaving you tired and unproductive the next day. You might also realize you reach for your phone whenever you feel stressed or anxious. By recognizing these patterns, you can start to make changes. Maybe you set a specific time to wind down at night, away from screens. Perhaps you identify healthier coping mechanisms for stress, like exercise or meditation. Let's put this into action with some practical self-reflection exercises for you. Number one is to prepare a daily habit journal. Track your habits for a week. Notice patterns and identify areas for improvement. Action number two is trigger identification. When you catch yourself doing a bad habit, pause and ask what just happened. This helps you recognize the triggers. Action number three is emotional check-in. Take a few minutes each day to reflect on your emotions. Are there habits linked to certain moods? Remember, self-reflection is a journey, not a destination. Be kind to yourself and celebrate your progress. Self-reflection is a game changer. It empowers you to take control of your habits and live a more intentional life. So embark on your self-reflection journey today. Remember, the key to greatness lies within you. Leave a comment below and like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned. See you next time.